Well, after an exciting NBA Finals between the Golden State Warriors and Cleveland Cavaliers, your kids might be inspired to get out and shoot some hoops. And they can take the court this weekend against some of Detroit's finest. Joining me this morning to talk about the fourth annual Safe Summer Basketball Slam is its organizer, Terrence Wheeler, and Detroit Police Chief James Craig as well. Terrence, good morning to thank you. Thank you for having me, Chief. Jeff. Thank you so much for oh, being here. Always a pleasure to be on 7th. I appreciate it. Right. Now, Terrence, let's start with you. Let's talk about the purpose of this event coming up. Well, the purpose of it is for us to have to deepen our relationships with law enforcement, with our young people. You know, it's, it's imperative for our young people to understand that law enforcement cares. Yeah. And for us to have a safe environment, we have to have a relationship with law enforcement. Uh, we're in the life-saving business, sir. And uh, so what we have to do is work collaboratively to make sure that we have a uh, safe and summer. Chief, you're doing a great job out on the streets and, and battling crime. This is one way that you get out and get to see the kids in a, in a very proactive, uh, positive way, right? Oh, no doubt. You know, this works. You know, I've been involved in youth activities for my time back in Los Angeles and just watched how we, as Terrence put it, deepen that relationship. Yeah. And I've oftentimes, as you know, I talk about we do things different here in Detroit. Uh, it's not by accident. Uh, that we've had successes and this is just you know another opportunity I gotta tell you uh, and I gotta put this on the record you know this is our fourth game <laughs> and we've won the majority <laughs> 75 percent I hear 75 percent so we're gonna <laughs> win again this weekend big well, challenge <laughs> <coming> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> with that if yeah police officers are the referees I mean so obviously we get most of the oh, calls you play <laughs> and your referee huh hey well, they're, the, they have, they're experts right. in the whistles. So right. Right. In, the in the whistles. The whistles. <laughs> now, Chief, this is a, probably a point in time where you can humanize the police department with kids at a very influential age, I bet, right? Uh, no doubt. We're talking about, you know, not only uh, deepening the relationships, but mentoring, yeah. uh, allowing. You know, I had the good fortune, you know, just recently to deliver a commencement address at both Renaissance and Central High. And to see these young people who are at the crossroad. You know, uh, giving them the good news of what their future can look like right. if you make good decisions. And this is another opportunity to do that. You know, both our safe summer basketball slam, but then we have a peace summit coming. We have some information we're going to show you on TV. And Terrence, I want you to tell us a little bit about some of the turnaround that you've been able to do. You had yeah. some gang members that have turned around because of this. It started off with us having a gang member named Dante Kennedy who came to us about four years ago and just wanted to do something uh, to improve the quality of life in this community and improve the relationships. So we started with basketball, which is a common denominator in most neighborhoods. And so we approached the uh, Detroit Police Department. They were on board. Uh, they have some ex-players, ex-high school players. and. Things just kind of moved from there. But Dante Kennedy was an ex gang member who was active, who was now uh, attending college. So that's a success as far as we're concerned. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us thank here you. on 7 Action News. We appreciate the event and what you're doing for the community. And go to WXYZ.com for more information on that event. Always a pleasure. You bet, Chief. Thanks All so right, much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.